Hello everybody, today we have a Hot Wheels showcase, it's the obligatory, you know, once every three months, let's take a look at all the cases. Uh, I have a lot more than I thought I was gonna, so we just have mix, or uh, actually A case, B case, C case, and D case to take a look at here. I know it has been a while since I've pulled out the camera and actually filmed something. Um, the videos I've been posting lately have been stock videos, and I still have more stock videos. I don't know why I haven't posted them yet. Oh, well. <laughs> so, we're just going to dig right into it with A-Case, which I only have three models from. Starting off here with the Tesla Model Y. So, yeah, I had a little, little YouTube break, I guess. But what is... What I'm happy to report is that I'm almost, what, 17, I'm 17 subscribers away from a thousand, which is pretty insane, pretty monumental, and that's all you guys, that's all your contributions, so I can't be more happy, but we will celebrate when the time comes, don't let me not get too ahead of myself. And I'm sure, I'm definitely planning giveaways. They are not ready yet. So if we hit it in like the next week, don't expect a giveaway because I'm not ready. But I will soon. But here's the Tesla Model Y, which I think is actually just a bit better than the Matchbox casting, which is kind of weird that Hot Wheels did a pretty plain vehicle better than the Matchbox casting. Now, it isn't stock like the Matchbox casting. That's not why it's better. We know I'm not going to favor a modified vehicle over a stock vehicle, but the casting is better. First of all, it's a little skinnier which makes it look a little smaller, which it is. It's, it's, it's you know, the next size up from the Model S, or the Model 3. Um, and then there's the S, and then the X is the biggest one, of course. Um, the S's are very long, so they're actually longer than the Y's. So yeah, the, the Matchbox casting is just very large, and I think it really should be look, re-looked at. And I say the Hot Wheels one is modified. It isn't, you know, totally... It's got like a chin spoiler here, which is an actual accessory you can buy for the Teslas. I had a couple of them in the shop like that with a fake, it's a fake carbon fiber chin spoiler, but it actually looks pretty good. So there's that. And it's actually pretty easy to install because we had to replace one of them. And then we got the rear spoiler here, which they do come with rear spoilers from the factory. This one is not a factory one because the factory ones do not have an indent like this. And you can get them, and they're actually real carbon. The ones from the factory are real real carbon, and they have um, color-matched ones as well. They're plastic. They just stick on with two-sided tape. It's known that they've fallen off before, so we, we hope we don't have to deal with them, but if we do, whatever. Uh, love the color on this one. We got dual motor badging on the back here, EV speed, and some nice tail lamps black black rims to simulate the uh actually they kind of look like the rims without the covers on them and then you got indents for the door handles which i don't really care for because they should be flush with the body yeah that's that it's otherwise looking pretty good and these things do have an available third row seating this is not shown in the hot wheels casting but yeah, you know, it looks pretty much like it should. Yeah, I don't see an issue with it. Although there should be body, a body um, or bumper, part of the bumper should be down here separating the grill from the lip. But that's my only complaint with it. Moving on, we have a couple blue vehicles here to start actually with the Volvo XC40 Recharge. Actually, they're all electric and they're all blue, oddly enough. And that will, that theme will continue a little bit throughout the video. The XC40 Recharge, I figured I'd get it just because it's a Volvo. You know, I still don't care for the casting. Matchbox one's better. It's not a Recharge, but the Tomica one is, and it's better too. But I still think it's cool to have it rigged out a little bit like this. Tail light decals look good. I like the little Swedish livery it's got going on. Volvo XC40, pretty unique. And I'd really love to see one like this in real life, actually. Yeah, not much to say about it. Debuted last year like the Tesla Model Y. Both 2023 new castings returning for 2024. Not bad, not bad. But here is a 2024 new casting. And I want to make sure I don't have any more A-case cars. Some of the B-case ones might be carryovers. 
I'm not completely sure. I just go by what it says on the back because it's a lot harder to follow than Matchbox. This is the Zinger ZL or Z Z1C. I don't know much about this car. I feel like this is the car that uh, this might not be it. There was a car that was 3D printed or parts of it were 3D printed. I don't think it's this one. But I thought the it's a, it's a pretty interesting looking vehicle, not my not my style of vehicle. But I think it looks pretty cool, and the Hot Wheels casting looks pretty well as or pretty nice as well. Yeah, have like details up front. Got a badge on the grill or on the not a grill, sorry. I don't know what to call that. Actually, is that the hood? <laughs> this is an electric vehicle. And yeah, we're still continuing with this. All the vehicles are having this oval on the bottom. You know, even the four by fours, like they even. <laughs> carried it over there the tesla's got it i don't know what hot wheels is doing with that and I, I will keep pointing it out until i find an answer and actually if i do find an answer i'll still point it out and say hey this is for yada 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 yeah the spoiler is a separate piece and that looks like an exhaust but i guess it is unless it's a hybrid i don't know enough about this vehicle to even be talking about it right now but there you go four or three blue electric vehicles moving on to mix b of 2024 let's see we got two new models so of course i'll start with recolors first here we have the mighty k making a return for the year and this is not the only k truck in mix b uh, that actually yeah because i'm getting thrown off from the matchbox cases Case B, I should say. B case, as we normally say with the Hot Wheels. Based on a Suzuki Every, of course. With this very 80s looking livery. I really like that. OMG Surf and Skate? Surf and Skate? Make sure I read that right. <laughs> so, s oh, skateboards. Yes, okay. Surf shop and skateboards, okay. You got the... Gold disc rims. And I like the little Hot Wheels logos included in the um, side graphics. It looks pretty cool. Now, that's a weird thing. So, yeah. It was, oh, no. It was facing like this in the package. I like how I got full details, technically. I mean, the headlights are clear, so you don't really need to detail them. But rear end looks good. Yeah, it's really nice to see a K-Truck in the Hot Wheels lineup. And not the only one, too. We'll get to that. What else? What else? What else? What else? How about... How about, this one's already coming off the card. 2019 Ford Ranger Raptor. We all know I love the HKS liveries. So, that what? How, how did that... I, I don't know. I, I don't know how I managed to not only take this from the store and it survived, but also hang it on my wall downstairs for a month or so, and it still survived. But here's the Ranger... Raptor, Ranger Raptor. So this is we don't get this one in the U.S. It's Australia and Europe, I believe. I like the HKS livery, the blue rims, which kind of make it look like it has rays. I think rays the one that we're putting rims on trucks like this. Yeah, because the the Tacoma hat, the the Tacoma was styled like this too. Ford Performance, HKS, yeah, pretty cool. And it'll look good with, hopefully it'll look good with the other HKS vehicles. They're all Japanese-like, so that, that, that might be the first American vehicle they put H, HKS liveries on. Next up, we have one of my favorite new models from last year, the 911 Carrera RS. Now, I, I, I didn't know I had this one. <laughs> I don't know, yeah, I don't, because I saw it in stores, and I'm like, yeah, I don't really need that, I don't care for the black bumpers, and then I get home, and I'm like, oh, I already, I already own it, okay, I right, see, this one predates that oval thing, but yeah, the Porsche has it too, so it's not just electric vehicles, it might be just realistic, or real vehicles, I don't know, 
I don't know why they're doing that. Maybe it makes it flatter on the bottom so that the words aren't all sticking out, but they, I don't, I don't know. I don't I have no idea why they possibly do this on all the models, but it's weird. But I guess I'll keep this for now. I got Carrera RS on the back, Porsche Carrera all around, headlight details, and a Porsche badge. I think this is the same details that the first two releases got. Definitely not as good looking, though, because the black bumpers make it look like a industrial vehicle. But it is yellow, so it does stand out and provides a nice contrast. Oh, well, I'll take it. Take it. Next up here, I'm, I'm pretty sure this was in a case. The Ford GT40. Of course, this is the 2005 model, isn't it? No, because... That would be a Ford GT. The GT40 is is the original one from the 1960s. Right, right, late 60s, early 70s, I believe. Sporting the paint job, well, the infamous paint job for one of the real ones. This is based on a real livery, and it's given a spotlight in Ford vs. Ferrari, of course. But that's not where the livery came from. They just put, put a spotlight on it in that movie. With the black front end and the, the very clean side, I like this one. And I really just wanted this one to replace what I had now, which I think is the weird blue one with flames. I wanted a representation of the real vehicle instead of just a Hot Wheels livery. So still not a big fan of the casting. It's a little disproportioned. I like the Matchbox one better in terms of the... Maybe, maybe that's why I don't like this one, because this GT40 is proportioned like the Matchbox GT. I like the Matchbox GT40 a lot better because it's smaller and skinnier. There's that. Another white and black vehicle here. We have the Audi RS e-tron GT. White on white with the black trim. This is, I think, the fourth version. I think there's five versions altogether. There's a Target Red Edition in black, if I remember correctly. No, this might be the third version. And then the Red Edition is the fourth version, I think. I don't know. It says plug and go on the front there. You got your headlight details looking really good. Audi badge. And all the black trim on the front. Nice white paint job. Whoa. Someone's got a coffee stain on the roof there jesus <laughs> um tail light details look really good plug and go rs badging e-tron gt then the white five spokes very unique i love the white on white look not so much on this vehicle um it's okay oh this one doesn't have the oval okay um i would like it on like the mitsubishi evo looks really good on uh, older Evos. And then two new castings, of course. Another white one, actually. This is the Mazda AutoZam, and it's actually the Mazda AutoZam Scrum. I don't think they can put Scrum on the packaging for obvious reasons. But that is Mazda's K-Truck, or K-Class industrial line, I guess you could call it. Because the AutoZam, or then AutoZam's the performance company under Mazda. I don't know what they're doing with K-Trucks, but I do know that the Mazda um, yeah, so the Scrum wagon is, is of course the van, and then the Scrum is the truck, but they can't of course, they can't call it the Scrum, for obvious reasons. So, I, I, I don't really care for the casting. This is the Hot Wheels winner and look if they even put the oval on this what what is the point what are <laughs> i think it's funny that they still squeezed it on this thing when there's barely any real estate yeah i know it's the legends winner which is pretty cool and all but i don't care for it i don't uh i mostly bought this one to customize definitely gonna need a bed cover because i'm not gonna cut all that out um, just chop and chop and chop and see where it goes, I guess. Uh, yeah, just make it stock, make it stock. And then it is pretty, it's a pretty small body. So, and then I'm going to make it even smaller if I cut the roof rack on everything off it. So 
We'll see how that goes. I want to try to use the Matchbox Sambar um, body for it, but I might have to... Or the, the base for the Sambar, but I might have to use something else. I don't know. That will be something when I get into it. Yeah, oh my god. Look, yeah, I can't put that front and center. It's freaking crazy. But I like the detailing on it. The Honda badge, or the Mazda badge. Auto Sam. Headlight details, four-wheel drive, badge looks good, and then it's, of course, it's called the Texas 2. Is that an actual... It is a scrum badge. Okay, so they have the scrum badge on there, which they didn't... They, they didn't flip the... <laughs> it, it's... No, yes, they did. Scrum. Okay, I thought it was backwards. I'm like, they didn't flip the decal. No, yes, they did. And then, yeah, Weird Castings debuted in Mix B because we have the Proton Saga. And this is a real vehicle. The first Malaysian-produced car. And it looks like an old Mitsubishi, and I absolutely love it. This is my kind of car. Even though I had no idea what it was until Hot Wheels just said they were going to do it. But I just love the old boxy Mitsubishis and Toyotas, and this kind of just fits right in. It almost looks like a Rover. Or old Subaru, like a Subaru Larone. So, and there's our oval again. You got the disc rims on here, which I'm sure they're trying to be Matchbox with the disc spokes or the disc rims. Yeah, of course, Matchbox does it better. Like the Proton badge up front there. I haven't said that before because we've never had a Proton in scale. Uh, marker lights are detailed, headlights are inserts. Nice plaque trimmed on the side here. I love the Saga graphics, which looks like it was stamped twice because Hot Wheels logo is like blurred out. There we go. This side looks better. Yeah, this is awesome. And I already have a couple customs from Diecast Cargo. This thing is amazing. Amazing casting. And I think they nailed it. That one deserves to go front and center. So that was Mix B or B case. For C case, I have a couple C case models. I don't know what, what C case and what's not because I got everything from B case. Or D case, sorry. I got everything from D case. Everything here is labeled D case, but I'm pretty sure a couple of these came from C case. I still need the R30 from C case. So I, I have not been able to find that yet. But um, yeah, so I will start with, I don't know yet. Saving new models for last, which is a couple of them. That one kind of counts as a new model. Uh... Yeah, that's all of them. Okay. Three, technically two, but I'm going to say three new models. This was the Super Treasure Hunt in C-Case, the 507. Of course, I'm not lucky enough to find the Super Treasure Hunt, but what I did find is an error. We got no side graphics. So it lot, looks a lot cleaner. Uh, of course, I would prefer the BMW badge to be there, but it isn't. So just got the badge on the hood. Or the, the logo on the hood. Yeah, otherwise just plain yellow. That's weird. I'm going to keep that in package. I don't know what I'm going to do with it exactly. But let's take a look at the regular version. The, the non-messed up version. I originally wasn't going to get it. The error made me get it. But then when I saw it in person, I'm like, you know what? It's actually a really nice metallic yellow. So I decided to get it. And wow, look at that. That is a horrible paint defect and i'm kind of surprised about how circular it is anyhow <laughs> i i was very impressed with this casting last year another one of my favorites from 2023 so why not grab another one i can always sell it if i wanted to but i think it's a perfect casting perfectly proportioned just needs some matchbox disc rims i like the numbers on here not sure exactly what they're supposed to mean if it's just like a replica of a racing car or if it's i don't know that's <laughs> But yeah, it's still, it still is a pretty heavy casting, and I quite like the 507, so there we go. Uh, I believe this is from Mix C as well, or C case, and it transferred into B, or D case. Oh my goodness. I know, I'm having a stroke. I'm going to make everybody else listening to me have a stroke. The Alfa Romeo, I didn't even read it off. Look at that oval. GT V6 debuted last year. Another one of my favorite castings last year. It does not have the new rims this time. It's got the disc rim. Wow, a lot of vehicles have disc rims in this, in this episode. I like the pewter gray 
color with the red stripe down the side. That might remove that because I think it would look clean without that. And I also got to find some wheels that will fit it better. Maybe Matchbox disc rims. Maybe the three, the four spokes it had last time. I don't know. Uh, no tail light details again. You do get the trim and just the little striped on the side. Unless that's stock, which I'll, I'll probably keep it if it's stock, but I don't think it is. Headlights look good and the Alfa Romeo badge and your classic grill there. Yeah, this is a great casting. I don't know if I'm going to be a completist on it yet. I don't really know. That's why I bought that one. We'll see where it goes. But I don't know yet. Here is the GMC Hummer EV in blue. They've done this casting a ton of times. I'm kind of surprised how many times they've done it. I still want to say the green one's my favorite. The orange was very unique. The blue definitely is fitting, but it's just a plain blue, so I don't know. I don't know if I care for it as much as the others. We got the same details as the other ones. Front end headlights, Hummer badge across the front. Hummer across the rear GMC on the lower tailgate and your tail lights. And it is the first variant, not the Barbie variant. Actually, I don't think they've recolored the Barbie one yet. All of the other releases have been the original one with the open top. Yeah. Yeah, the Barbie one had the open. Oh, no, the Barbie one had the rear section removed. Now that I remember. But it does have... And, and it has the cover on the bed. Yes, okay. Trying to sort them out. But there's the Hummer EV. And I think the rest of these are DKs. I want to say. This maybe not. This one I'm unsure about. The Pagani Zonda R. I actually don't have an example of the Zonda R. But I grabbed this one thinking it was the... Or I picked it up thinking it was the... Super treasure hunt of the Mercedes. But I'm like, you know what? This is actually a really nice release of the Zonda R. And I never found the black one. I wanted the black one. Never found it. But this red one looks pretty nice. And this is the first vehicle I have that features these new rims. I believe it's the first one I have. These new multi-spoke rims, which look pretty nice, actually. And they kind of mimic the Matchbox ones. You got a nice metallic red here with the black and gold trim. Zonda R on the side here, and more black trim, and it's pretty pretty clean livery. Pagani on the back there. Really like it. Really like the color combination here, the red and the gold. Pretty sharp. And this is Zonda R. I like the Zondas. So why not? Why not grab it? It's just a dollar. It's just a dollar. Wow, the stance on that is pretty cool, though. Just with the wheels chromed out like that, it, it looks kind of like a cheap sort of like like knockoff rims or something i don't know i'm still not the biggest fan on how open they are but they do look good on that vehicle you know when the mazda rx7 i thought i was going to be done with this casting but then i saw japanese police sort of livery i don't know why it's got the red stripe down the side there and then the j jnc logo and i'm like oh why not it's why not grab it it's pretty cool. We got the Mazda badge on the front there. And then the start of the Japanese police livery. I could finish detailing it, but that would be a lot. So I don't know. Police down the side. You got Hot Wheels in Japanese at the top there. It'd be nice if they actually had police in Japanese. Like, Actually, no, they normally don't put it in Japanese. Police is usually in English. They normally have like the region it's from in Japanese on top. So normally like Tokyo Metropolitan Police or something like that. Yeah, but otherwise pretty plain and basic actually. Matches the Civic Type R from last year. But uh, I think I like it on the Arc 7 better. I didn't grab the Type R. Because I don't complete that casting anymore. Don't do this one either. So who knows if I'll end up keeping this one. But it's a nice one. Gold rims are definitely different. More in line of the Subaru Police cars in Japan. Here's another one that I bought straight for a custom, unlike uh, just like the uh, AutoZam here. So I figured I might as well, while I have it, before I do my thing with it, might as well show it in this video. Here is the Honda Civic EG6. So, of course, 
pretty easy custom idea, removing that. And of course, it has Hot Wheels in Japanese on the side of that one, too. There you go. Just in a different font. Honda, pretty similar liveries, too. You know, you got Japanese on top, English on the bottom. Just different, what do you call it? Perspective, maybe? Honda badge. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'd like to think I know what I'm talking about, but I don't. Headlights, which look okay. I don't like the little black dot. It looks like it has eyeballs. You got the lace rims, which are okay, too. And, you know, this decal, which I'll probably definitely remove. And, you know, then it'll look like Shingo's car from Initial D. Uh, and maybe a wheel swap, too. I'm not, I'm not too keen on those wheels in this casting. Here's one I thought I wouldn't... Go I wasn't going to find the Godzilla R33. Uh, yeah, I figured I'd never find this one. And I thought the R30 was going to be easy, but I guess I flopped them. Because I still don't have the R30. And the R33 is a casting I completely collect. And actually the R32. Uh, yes, and the R32, but I meant the R30. T-O-O. So I still need to get the R30. But, yeah, I absolutely love the Godzilla livery. So glad that they put that on there. Matches the R32 from last year. Maybe we'll get an R34 next year. S tail lights are done up. GTR badge. GTR on the plate. They don't, they're not perfectly aligned, but this is the only one I found. So, I love the Godzilla livery on here. Of course, it totally makes sense. Promoting the movie and the car all at the same time. And yeah, pretty cool one. Pretty cool one. Not the cleanest livery, but it's worth something. So I, I gotta figure out if I have the complete collection. I'm not completely sure of how many there actually are. I could have them all. I could not. I don't know. Moving on, I mentioned the Benz earlier because I thought it was the Super. This is the basic version. Of course, I don't have enough luck to find the Super. I don't need the Super. The artwork, of course, looks like the Super. Just an awesome casting. Again, I think this was a top fiver of mine last year. Amazing, amazing casting. This paint finish is rough, though. Like, if we, if our painter did that at work, it would be going back in for a repaint. This one might have to get a little bit of clear coat spray on it. But you got nice side light details. Mercedes-Benz badge, fog lights down below. The only rims suitable for this casting right here. Absolutely, they were made for this casting, I guarantee. Not, no, not actually, but... Yeah, there was a ton of these, too, and I grabbed the one with the messed up paint. 560 SEC AMG. Your AMG hammer, folks. Yeah, absolutely love the casting. Definitely gonna have to detail the rims. Just kind of like the Super. And now we're left with three fairly new castings. Or three, yeah, new castings, I would say. Starting off here with the 23 Ram 1500. This is technically the TRX. Don't know why they don't call it the TRX. Licensing or something with Jurassic Park, maybe? I don't know. Um, but this is the TRX. This is not a regular RAM, and it would kind of be silly if it was because they already have a regular RAM in the main line. Actually, it's the RAM Rebel. That's a terrible casting. This one looks a lot better, and it definitely is your TRX grill. RAM right across the front. Headlights looking good. RAM badge on the side. Hot Wheels graphics. Tail lamps. There's your roll bar with some lights on it. And then... Your Carolina squat. No, I'm kidding. Uh, that's probably because these things accelerate so quickly that the, the rear suspension just freaking drops. And you just all you hear is Hemi screaming. Whoa. And that's not supposed to be an advertisement for the vehicle. <laughs> Here we have the DeLorean Alpha 5. Not a new casting technically. There is one other version, which was a online exclusive. This is your first retail version. That you can walk into a store and purchase. I really like the casting. And I think the real car is pretty sharp. So 
Yes, this is a real car. This is the attempt to bring back the DeLorean. I don't know how far they are in that stage. It will be cool to see these on the road. I hope it goes well, but we don't know right now. You got your LED headlights up front here. DeLorean right across the front on the black trim. Tail lights looking good. DeLorean and then your reflectors on the back there. Black trim everywhere. I wonder if that the the logo lights up there. That'd be cool. It's red, so it definitely has a chance to. I like how it also overhangs a little bit. A little nice, very sharp, very sharp. I like it. I like it. And this does have gallwing doors. The real vehicle does have gallwing doors, like the old DeLorean. So I think white's a very nice color to debut it in, and I like the gray rims on it. One more. And this is definitely my favorite new casting so far this year. The Audi Quattro, 1987 Audi Quattro. This is perfection. Perfection. Look at that. Headlights look amazing. Those are some great details. Look at that. Love the details on that. Audi badge, Quattro, marker lights. I love the uh, gradient on the Audi badge here. That is how it's supposed to be. It's like down on the artwork. Chrome door handle. No tail lights. But that's okay because they've provided a wonderful casting. Wonderful. This is just amazing like a completely stock quattro they have the i think it's an older version too the other quattro for with the rally spec too yeah this is awesome this is awesome there is your lineup so far a case to d case highlights minus the c case r30 my personal high highlights too there you have it, guys. Which is your favorite of the video? Favorite of the case? I don't know. And uh, stay tuned for the next one. See you all on the next... See... Yeah, now I messed myself up. See you on the next one, everybody. Take care. Bye for now.